Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a black walnut and blue epoxy chessboard. For this build, I'm going to be using one and one half inch strips of black walnut. I believe the chest like standard is about two inches, but doesn't really matter to me. So you can use two inches, but I'm going to use one and one half because it fits better in my planer. If you have a 12 inch planer, I would highly recommend doing one and one half inch blocks by one and one half inch. So they're one and a half inches square and about three quarters of an inch high. So right now, whatever you cut it to, originally ripped it down with your table saw, you have to do that on your cross cut sled. So my blocks are one and a half by one and a half by three quarters tall. Next, I spaced them out and you can kind of see how I did it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, but I just used the same two blocks of spacers. I wouldn't recommend changing them because you have you might have small inconsistencies with a bigger or smaller block. So I really wouldn't change it and um, didn't take me that long, probably about 15, 20 minutes. Just use CA glue on the um, piece of plywood and then I used activator on the block. And if you're wondering what size your plywood base should be, that all just depends on how big your blocks are. Chess boards are 8x8, eight eight, so make sure to stack 8 to the right and then 8 in the other direction. I guess you could say up. And then measure, and that'll be how big your plywood base is. Now, for the amount of blocks you'll need, the exact number is about 34. Next for the mold, measure. For me, this is 12 inches. Then, in this direction... It's one and a half inches. So I need a piece of plywood that is 12 by one and a half and do that on all sides to make your mold because we're going to do trim around the epoxy. But if you wanted, you could make your mold a little extra wide if you wanted an epoxy border. But for me, I don't want to do that because that's just way too much epoxy. Next, once you have all of this done, you're going to want to create a mold that will trap epoxy in here. Epoxy will leak out if you give it any opportunity, so you have to be relentless here and do it right. I've created my bulletproof epoxy mold, now I'm going to pour. Fortunately, I wasn't able to get any shots of me pouring the epoxy. Next, just clean up the underside if you have any epoxy drips or caulking from your mold. Once you have that cleaned up, I would run it through the planer. But just be very careful because your planer will destroy those little blocks. So be very, very, very careful. I would run your planer until it is just perfectly taking off epoxy but not touching the little wooden chips. Next, I spent probably three hours sanding this. This took me forever because of how little I did on my planer. Next, for finish, I used Rubio Mono Coat but you can use whatever you want. If you are going to use something like Rubio Monaco, I would recommend sanding up to about 180 to 200. A ton of people do an epoxy finish on these, but I didn't. If you want to, I'm sure there's a bunch of videos on how to, but Rubio Monaco worked great for me. And it's probably a little cheaper than epoxy. Thanks for watching. Here's some finishing shots. And as always, please do not forget to subscribe it helps us out a ton and we'd love to keep making these videos for you guys so subscribe right now so you don't forget and thanks for watching